Hello YouTube, Anime Hound. Um, got some interesting news and uh, well, it's this. I found a place to duel in person, so I will have be going to locals. I got a week and a half to prepare my deck. I have made some changes. There will be some final changes made to really get this thing geared up. I've made some minor changes. I side decked the Stalos because for some reason it hasn't been functioning properly in YVD. So uh, I swapped them out as much as I don't like it because the Stalos is one of my favorite monarchs. But what are you gonna do? So hopefully I'll have some footage from you for you from uh, the Dragon's Den in Poughkeepsie, where I will be dueling. So uh, let's get this show on the road. One Cyber Dragon, don't need to explain why he's in there. One Gores, stops those OTKs. 2700 attack, get a free token, tribute. Just absolutely awesome. And I don't know why people, some, some people don't like him. I think he's freaking awesome, should be a staple. Two's a Borg, monster removal, level 5 uh, for tuners. Make up the level 7s rather easily. Caius, same for Zaborg, remove, except uh, removes from the game. Has the ability to hit the backfield as well, and if it's a dark monster, have 1,000 burn. Uh, level 6, so it works well with the uh, level 8 synchros to tune with. 2 Ryza, again. Level 6, hits monsters or the backfield. And uh, another one of the cards I've substituted for the Stalos, the other one was Gores. Then we got three giant germs. Yes, two of these are CP hollows, which is freaking awesome. Uh, somebody was nice enough to part with them to give them to me. I need one more, so if anybody has one, let me know. I will trade for it, because it kind of sucks not having all three of them. But, um... 500 burn if destroyed. One brings out two more. Allows me to uh, allows me to tribute out and also makes very good drops for um, for lore. Two Mr. Tomatoes again makes good drops for lore for, for lore. I use them to bring out another tomato or Crebons or uh, the. Giant Germs, just an awesome search card in general. This is another card I've been thinking about swapping out. Really depends on what I, what I can find as a vi viable use. Uh, might get my hands on uh, DD Warrior Ladies, DD Assailants, depending on what I got, or even Tragodia. Depends on what I can do with him. But comes back at the end of the turn when he's destroyed with a reduced attack from 1500 to 1000. And again, tribute bait for my monarchs. And we got a wall in Cyber Valley. If chosen as an attack target, remove him from the game to end their battle phase and draw a card. Or if I have two monsters on the field, remove him and one of the other and uh, the other monster to draw two cards. So a little bit of a draw engine, but works good as stall and or just just an, an annoying wall. Tribute bait, repeated tribute bait because he comes back as long as I have nothing in the backfield. Marshmallow does a thousand burn. Can't be destroyed in battle. Does the burn when attacked while face down by the opponent. So. Works out well, can't be destroyed in battle, great wall. Same with Reaper, great defense, 300 poke at the hand, makes him discard a card, just awesome in general. Sangan, good searcher, can't complain. Another target for Tomato also. Two Creebons, great, great defense. Negate an attack by paying 800, which is a great exchange depending on what they have out on the field. DD Warrior Lady, uh, I might switch out two other cards for maybe two more DD Warrior Ladies or go with three DD Assailants, depends on what the, the meta's like and if I can get my hands on the Assailants or the other DD Warrior Ladies. Those are the monsters, now we go with the spells. Heavy Storm, Giant Trunade, Mystical Space, Typical Backfield Removal, and Dust Tornado, I mean not Dust Tornado, uh, Giant Tornado can really clog up the hand depending on what's going on. It, it helps as long as I get everything out of the way and make some direct attacks. Lightning Vortex, 
monster removal and I get to dump a card I've thought about replacing this with another book of moon I might do it just again it depends on what the meta is like over there um, enemy controller gotta love it you know I mainly use it for the the quick play and just being able to turn a monster into defense mode to screw up an attack brain control pay 800 take control of one of their monsters and use it for whatever I need sacrificing for a monarch tuning whatever's whatever's possible book of moon flip a monster face down on their side or my side depending on what the situation calls for and can really make uh, light sworn players cry especially with that first turn uh, lumina when they go to mill those three, book a moon at the end of the turn, you're not milling, slows down the engine. Two allures, because I have enough dark types in the deck to, to fuel this, I can part with the giant germs, I can part with sangan, I can part with the tomato, so pays off, draw power. Pot of Avarice, I go through monsters like crazy because I can dump, as well as monsters being constantly sacrificed, so this adds fuel back to the fire. Allows me to draw two. Not that bad of a card, but again, depending on what the meta is like, I might switch it out for something else. Creature Swap. I've stood behind this card from the get-go. Great, great control. Allows you to take control of an opponent's monster. You deliberately give them something weak. Especially, you know, if you got it in your hand, Hell, give them a marshmallow in an attack mode. Give them one of my, you know, give them one of my uh, giant germs. I get two more on my side of the field to allow a direct attack. Or I could turn around and throw out one of my searchers to get another, uh, another, um, another Mystic Tomato or pull out Sangan, direct attack. I've got two monsters now on the field. Mind control, take control of the monster, allow a direct attack, or I can tune with it. Monster removal, targeting, I might take out the smashing ground for a second fissure, it really depends. Two bottomless, pretty much a staple in this format. Yeah, more, more, more monster removal removes them from the game. Can't really complain. Another staple, torrential tribute, clears the field in case something goes really wrong. Uh, might get side decked out once I get my hands on my solemn judgment that should be uh, that should be arriving soon. Call of the Haunted. Now that Monster Reborn is gone, this allows a little extra recursion from the graveyard. Works well with Jinzo, which is in my side deck. So depending on what the situation calls for, I might side in Jinzo if the situation calls for it. Then we got Mirror Force, staple, plus one or better, staple. Synchro deck. Extras, two Stardust, one Black Rose, one Goyo Guardian, one Ancient Fairy, one Armory Arm, because yes, I can create him between Kreebons and Giant Germ. This I've actually put to use on a couple of occasions if it calls for it. So don't really knock it. It's actually not that bad. I know... Need a light type. I've gotten this out before. I got him in there. The artwork is cool. What can I say? He's in there just because. X Saber Urbellum. This is a card that really should be seeing a little more play in extra decks. Poke at the, uh, hits the hand. Works again well with the Stalos and Trap Dust Shoot. Really wish he should be seeing more, uh, more play. Two Colossal Fighters. Know why he's in there. And two Gyanites. Now we'll move on to the side deck, which again will be—it's a little bit in a state, in a, a little bit in a state of flux, but we'll see. Jinzo, there's my two Thistalos, depending on the situation calls for it. Removing face downs, specifically Raiko and Light Swarms, no a cross out. Two Magic Drains, really can hurt the opponent, especially if you make them throw away a spell card that they don't want, or just stopping one in general. Might switch one out for a Solemn Judgment. Two Dust Tornadoes for cards uh, for decks like Gladiator Beast that are really magic and trap heavy. Two Mirror of Oath for Gladiator Beast. Two Light Sworn, uh, two Light Imprisoning Mirrors. Two bo uh, two Trap Holes and one Trap Dust Shoot. So that's it. Anime Hound out. All right, this was Anime Hound. Sorry about that. Uh, things got a little whacked out. But uh, Anime Hound out. Guys, wish me luck, and uh, hopefully I'll have some dual footage for you. Take it easy, YouTube.